Hello everyone, and welcome to a uh, reaction video. I had a fan tell me that he wanted to make a video deconstructing my suits and sort of critiquing them and evaluating them and I guess sort of rating them. I was like, okay, that's cool. He made it surprisingly quickly. It came out in like probably two days after I sent him all the images. Anyway, we're gonna get we're gonna get into watching this video. Uh, I don't know how this reaction video is gonna do, and I, I I am also aware that now that I am giving this person attention, all of my fans are probably gonna be like, oh my god, I need to make a reaction video with all of his suits so that he'll pay attention to me. No, I'm not gonna do that. This is probably something I'm gonna do far and few in between. First of all, how did I get that insane read on my fans? That's because whenever I made the, the suit judgment video, everybody fucking sent in their suits for like a week, so. Let me roll up my mask so you get like some hinge of emotion. He said my black suit was mid. Ah! All right, I'm ready. So I'm pretty sure most of us are extremely familiar with the character of Peter Parker and Spider-Man. He's had multiple movie appearances and a shit ton of comics. Bro, not this, this fucking background music. Old, and I think we all really like and love this character. Ah, he's been adapted in the Easy Bug Boy, and in fact, he has a whole Spider Verse. Most of I'll us put the mask down. to see ourselves behind that mask, but unfortunately, we don't have those God-given abilities, so we just dress up like these characters. Well, some of us. Today, I'm here to introduce to you. Bro, that fuckboy ass face. The Nick Suit 2.0 is a second rendition of a suit Kai's made earlier. This suit is, well, odd. <laughs> Bro, okay, hold on. Hold on. First of all, all the belts on all my suits do that. That's, that's how I, essentially how it works is that there are four buttons that go along the backs of my, I guess the, I don't know what the correct word is, but like sort of the ends of my suit, especially on the shirts, there's one on the front and there's one on the sides and then there's one on the back. So that's actually how it works for all of my suits. Although the, there is something that can be said about my button placement. Uh, on this suit, I placed the button on the leggings a little too low, which causes it to fringe up like that. So yes, sort of. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking covering my own ass, but I'm gonna get back into it. The colors match really well, but the fabrics are just weird. This suit looks like something I would see in a porno. Which is not good to have as a first impression. You see, this suit really just looks goofy to me. Just look at the eyes, bro. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, I did. I did. I actually made a new pair of lenses for that mask. The see, the problem with my lenses is that they're way too they're way too triangular. So that when you do put them on my face, it comes off at an it like when I'm looking at you straight on, it's sort of a weird angle. And I found that when you add an extra sort of side to my lenses, it sort of fixes that issue. That's what you're going to see with the cosplay later in the video. So, yeah, the, len the lenses on this suit are kind of wacky, but I've been meaning to replace them anyway. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? I mean, this get your ass on, buddy. Yeah. Get your goddamn ass on, buddy. Get your goddamn ass on, These shitty-ass logos don't really help. What?! Either. They look so blocky, it reminds me of Minecraft. <laughs> so is isn't all bad. There's actually some parts I really like about it. I really like the fact that Kai- Okay, now hold on. He- These logos, I think they're an improvement. At least the one on the front is an improvement over the- over the Nick V1, which he's gonna go over later in the video. I like the logos on- Maybe not the one on the back, but I like the one on the front way more than the one on the back. Because I feel like increasing the size of the abdomen and the head, I think, just framed the logo much better. I thought the other one was, like, way too... Like, the head and the abdomen were just, like, way too small. I got these red bands, I guess, uh, like he has on the arms, uh, and put them on the legs. It really uh, adds consistency with the design of Spider-Man. I also like the fact that he used a Sharpie instead of puff paint. Since a lot of cosplayers just use puff paint, and I really don't like it, it's 
sometimes it's a bit too much. So when someone uses just Sharpies, it just looks plain and simple. I think I think there is a place for puff paint in a lot of my cosplays. I I just use Sharpie because puff paint terrifies me. Uh, and at the time, Clear Dot Spandex was actually sold out. So if I fucked up on this suit, there was like a huge chance that I wouldn't be able to redo any huge sections because of the lack of Clear Dot that I could go out and buy if I did fuck it. I need to get closer to my mic because I feel like my audio is fucking up. But if I did use puffy paint, I would fuck it up. But also puffy paint is a lot of work and I feel like Sharpie just does a, like enough of a job that I'd be satisfied with. It gives it this more, well, a classic approach to it, and I really like it. But other than that, this suit can kiss my white ass. The suit is not good. I rate it a good, like, 5 out of 10. Maybe even 4. It's not, it's not me. I... I do... When he explains it, I do agree with his ranking. I do think I could have used some different fabrics for this costume. Uh, in hindsight, it maybe is a little too shiny. Although I feel like I could reuse this fabric combo to make a uh, Spider Armor Mark IV suit, and that's something I've actually been thinking about. But personally, I lied. I'd heighten the rating. It's not the best costume I've ever made, but certainly it's 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 pretty all right. I I would have put this one up at a. Currently, I would have put this one up at maybe like a seven out of ten. But after I fix the lenses, maybe maybe an eight. I'll, I'll just I'll I'll let I'll 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 see what he says when I remake the mask. Now we have to subdue the version of this suit, bro. This suit is so good. Like, oh my god, bro. Look at the fucking logos. Look at the eyes. Look at everything. This is so much better than that shitty porno gimp suit, bro. Bro, can I catch up? Can I get a break? This suit is so good. The colors are amazing. The fabrics are amazing. The fingerless gloves turned me on. This suit slap. Slaps. If you say anything bad about this suit, I will personally find you, harvest and sell your organs and donate them to charity, bro. I don't need you talking shit about this suit. It's so good, bro. It's... This version of the bag logo is so fucking good, bro. I... I do agree. I do think the back logo on this suit is probably way better than the, uh, than the GIMP one, I suppose. I like the... I guess... I guess what makes this one so good is it's um it's the, it's how big the back is, especially the abdomen part of the spider, and I love how the legs aren't like at all comparable in size to it. When on the last one the legs were pretty huge compared to the spider, but I do think the back logo on this one is like a huge improvement. Or well, I guess the back logo on my newer one is sort of a downgrade. But I just sort of felt like I had to refine the logos and change them, and I sort of fucked it up on the Nick V2. I mean it. These eyes look better than the version 2 suit. Again, notice how those eyes have a little divot to- it's sort of an optical illusion, because you can't really see it from this angle. But let me go back to a point. See? They have the little divot. The new lenses do. Because listen, these are more triangular. Those on the like on the version two look triangular and round at the same time. It fucking sucks. But this looks amazing. Web wings. Are you ready? I love this suit so much. If there is one thing I wish I changed about this suit, this was like the first time I ever used like textured fabrics. I'm actually wearing the same. I'm actually wearing the same texture this suit is made out of right now. You can barely see it, but it's because... Oh, there it is. I wish I didn't use both uh, textured Liverpool spandex for the red and blue. Like, I wish I kind of used velvet for the blue sections. To I, I like variation in the texture of fabrics that I use, but... That's that's my only problem with this suit. <laughs> I love it so much. I love the intricate details. I love it. It's so good. Hi, my boy, amigo. Listen, do not make, do not produce shit like this. Make more shit that looks like this, bro. You are so skilled, and you decide to make a fucking gimp suit, bro. No, please, no. Alright, my final verdict, this suit gets a fucking 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'd say 9. 
I hope he doesn't watch this video and hear me say that. Easy dubs. W. Kai, you make more shit like this. We still have like three suits left to go, and, he, and we're like four minutes in. Bro, he did not put the fucking Batman theme over this part of the video. He's gonna get me clay. The symbiote suit. This version of the symbiote suit is my favorite version of the symbiote suit. It's not even official. Guy did such an amazing job on this that I can't describe the words I want to use to describe this suit. This suit is equipped with messy webs, which makes this suit look more edgy, grungy, and generally more angry, angry looking. The logo used is more sharp and angular compared to the, well, different iterations of the symbiote suit that has maybe some softer but still kind of angular looking. Uh, I will say, the reason, the reason the, the front logo on this one has such a fucking big ass head is because I wanted to do something else with the front logo where like the man the mandibles looked a little more blocky or it's the pedipalps, that's the right word. Uh, where I wanted to make them look a little blockier, but it didn't fit the vibe of the suit, so I ended up having to redo the head entirely, which meant, like, making it super big and, like, well, I guess the way it is now. I could actually see it looking a lot more like the Symbiote logo on the left, because there's so much headway on that one, but, uh... ...of the Symbiote suit that has maybe some softer, but still kind of angular-looking logos. The suit isn't all perfect though. I do have to say that the lenses don't really fit with the theme of this suit. I have to say that this suit is very angry and, well, angular looking. Some lenses that look more like this would definitely work with the suit more. I like him citing the homies. That's good. When I look at the suit, it reminds me of the Batman, hence to the music. You see, this suit is just menacing and angry looking. I've said that a couple times now, but I just have to tell you again and again. I really think that this suit would have been perfect if just the lenses were different. Overall, this suit gets a good 8 out of 10. Kai did an amazing job on this, but I would- I, I can agree with that. see get remade with some different lenses. I can definitely agree with that. Although I do like the lenses. I, I wouldn't change the lenses, I like the lenses. That's it. I am finally done with it. That's it? What do you mean that's it? There's more! I sent- Oh, fuck it. God damn it. Video. After two days of procrastinating and actually getting this video done, I am finally done with the editing and everything. Thank fucking god. Anyways, there is uh, a couple of suits that I left out. I did send me two more, but he simply didn't send enough pictures. So, if you guys would like a part two, I'd 100% do that. Maybe with some other cosplayers too. Well, um, that was all for today, folks. Um, so, uh, have a good one, and um, I love you guys. Um, oh yeah, wait, let me just promote uh, myself a bit. Um, please uh, like, subscribe. Um, I have a big announcement for my next video. And, um, uh, yeah, um, remember to turn on that bell, and, um, please, uh, like and subscribe, I would appreciate it a lot, um. Basically forget all that shit he just said, and do that shit for me! Forget, forget him! Y'all are liking my video, fuck his video, cringe! Ugh, hold well, on, let me get this thing comfortable to wear. Okay, so that was a fun video. Uh, I definitely liked, I definitely liked him going over my suit and sort of doing the same level of critiquing that I would apply to other people's work. I did enjoy that personally. Uh, I will recommend that if he does make this a series, I would definitely make sure he reaches out to the cosplayer before he, like, decides to do this level of critiquing. Because there's definitely a lot of times where he was like, Oh, I'm shitting all over this suit. And I was fine with it because, like, we went over it. I told him he could do it, and he did it. And it was pretty funny. But I feel like there are some other people who might be a little more sensitive about their work that wouldn't appreciate having such, like, harsh, playful criticism like that. I would definitely recommend he checks with the people he's making these videos about before he does so. But that was a pretty good video. I liked it. I think he had a lot of solid points. 
Are there times where I think he was wrong? Yeah. Are there times where he made me re-examine, like, the way I do things and he was right? Yeah, there was a lot of times in the video where he was right. Uh, that was a pretty solid video. That was pretty good. Anyway, uh, you can go check out his channel. Uh, I will try to have it linked in the description if I remember. But this was a short, easy little video for me to pump out that I can make money from unless the fucking Batman portion gets me claimed. But anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Thank you all so much for watching. Go check out, go check out this guy's channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.